Well, the Utah Valley University men's basketball team is now headed to the semifinals of the National Invitational Basketball Tournament. It's taking place next week. This comes after a 74 to 68 win over Cincinnati on Wednesday night. Very exciting game. And as Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold shows us, one of the stars of last night's big win was the university's cheering president. In their first nationally televised game, the Wolverines of Utah Valley University didn't disappoint. But the ESPN cameras couldn't turn away from this. I wasn't even really fully aware of it till way after the game when people were texting and messaging me and said I saw you on TV. That's UVU's president, Dr. Astrid S. Tuminez. I always have pom-poms at this game and I can't keep myself in my seat. Tuminez so has been I the university's president for four and a half years, coming to Orem from Singapore. Before I even started this job, uh, somebody gave me a little pom-pom at a men's soccer game. And then I realized that at most of these sports events, the cheering is really so important. She says she's a regular at the basketball games. Same seat every game. I only missed one this year. And almost every other sporting event on campus. I go to volleyball, soccer. I have never pitched a baseball. Hey. Baseball, softball, wrestling. With her pom-poms in hand. And I have already gone through, I would say, at least three sets. They get worn out. They all fall off. They get used a lot. I now have spare sets because I need them. The sight of the university's president cheering, dancing, and having fun on national television is something that caught the eye of students who couldn't attend the game. I point out to my wife, honey, this is my president dancing on the side of the court with pom-poms like, this is like Mark Cuban at a Dallas Mavericks game. <laughs> it was great. Brandon Ormsby is a sophomore at UVU. To have this, I think, really brings UVU out into that spotlight, especially if we're able to go through and finish the NIT and win it all. As the school continues their journey through the NIT, the, end of the game, I will high five all the players. Tamina says she will be there with her husband cheering them on. I do the pom poms and jumping around and this is really calm presence next to me. Well, the Wolverines will take on the University of Alabama Birmingham in the semifinals of the NIT next Tuesday. Tip off is set for 730 and Tamina's tells me she'll be making the trip to Las Vegas to cheer on the team, but only bringing one set of those pom poms for this game at UVU. Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.